The Voyager 2 spacecraft has been going around the edges of the solar system, taking photos. On August 26, 1981, it made a close flyby of Saturn and returned some new images that scientists were eager to see because they'd never seen. It had never seen Saturn's rings until now, at least not in this detail or clarity. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share your thoughts in the comment section. Number 1. Voyager 2 Journey The Voyager 2 spacecraft was launched on August 20, 1977. It was the second in the two spacecraft mission to Jupiter and Saturn. Each spacecraft carried a primary and a backup instrument, the primary being the imaging system that operated in ultraviolet, visual, and infrared wavelengths. The backup was an imager to observe Jupiter's moon, Io, and its magnetic field closely. Methods of collecting data Jupiter 2 is equipped with a slow scanner color camera, a wide-angle camera, an ultraviolet spectrometer, an infrared spectrometer, a plasma detector, and a magnetometer. The purpose of the wide-angle and color cameras was to obtain high-resolution images of Jupiter's moon Io, comets, and other small body. Jupiter 2's ultraviolet spectrometer detected the first rings around Saturn. The infrared spectrometer detected new clouds on Jupiter's moon, Ganymede, and a band of auroras on Mars' moon, Phobos. How long in space? Jupiter 2 has been flying through space for more than 37 years. It was launched on August 20, 1977, and its cameras began sending back images in November of that year. It is currently getting around 6 miles a second closer to interstellar space, at an average speed of about 3 million miles per day. Voyager 2 made critical astronomical discoveries about the outer planets that NASA never expected to find. The spacecraft is now almost 11 billion kilometers from Earth. Number 2. How Does Voyager Travel in Space RTG? The Voyager spacecraft has a different power system than any other spacecraft. An engine does not propel the vehicle and runs on heat from the radioactive decay of plutonium-238 fuel. It also contains a small radioisotope thermoelectric generator, RTG. The RTG and its heat are used to run the spacecraft's flight control system, sensors, communications equipment, and instruments designed to conduct scientific measurements. Voyager could carry out its scientific mission without needing additional electric power from the solar panels. Number 3. Mind-Blowing Discoveries One of the primary functions of Voyager 2 was to explore Jupiter, Saturn, and their moons and gather information about their physical properties. The Voyager 2 spacecraft made fantastic discoveries while venturing into the solar system. It was able to take detailed images of the moons of Saturn, which showed scientists that Ganymede, a moon of Jupiter, and Titan, a moon of Saturn, have their magnetic fields. The spacecraft could also identify active volcanoes on Io, Jupiter's closest moon. This discovery helped scientists think about the possibility of whether or not life existed on this moon and other bodies in space. Boiling Ocean on Uranus The Voyager 2 spacecraft was able to take images of Uranus and discover a boiling sea of water on the planet. The discovery unraveled that Uranus was not a wholly icy and gaseous planet as first thought. The spacecraft also found a barge-like storm moving east to west and discovered an extremely thin ring around Jupiter. This discovery has resulted in scientists knowing that some planets have water, but the oceans are not like what we see on Earth because they boil. They also can be colder and warmer with time. Saturn's Rings However, the most exciting discoveries were the pictures Voyager 2 took of Saturn's rings. No one had seen these images before because the camera wasn't designed to work in such conditions. The photo of Saturn's rings was taken in August 1981. It was the first time any spacecraft had photographed the giant ring system. Voyager 2 sent back detailed images of Saturn's rings, revealing the true nature of this elusive feature. The rings were probably formed from materials that came from comets, which broke apart after hitting Saturn's rings. Uranus Plasmoid Voyager 2 discovered a large plasmoid under the most intense magnetic field in the solar system. 
A plasmoid is an area where charged particles are trapped and change their motion. Uranus's magnetic field is about 20 times the strength of Jupiter's and has the most intense magnetic field in our solar system. The plasmoid could travel into space at almost 900,000 miles per hour, much faster than any other particles in the outer solar system. The magnetometer was used to determine the magnetic field that surrounds Saturn. The plasma detector, which measures particles and electron energy, was able to give scientists information about the outermost layers of Saturn's atmosphere. Number 4. A new signal by the plasma wave system. The plasma wave instrument aboard Voyager 2 detected two new types of plasma waves in the Saturn system. The first radar echoes were detected by Voyager 1 in 1979. The spacecraft sent out radio signals between 3600 and 6000 kHz and recorded strong reflections from Saturn's moons, Titan, and Thetis, and the planet itself. The second set of waves was detected by Voyager 2 from the planet's atmosphere. The Photoplasma Wave Spectrometer, or PPWS, was designed to measure the distribution of electrons in Saturn's tenuous atmosphere. Number 5. New Measurement of Density Molecules, atoms, and ionized gas in space between stars have a wide range of temperatures, densities, and chemical compositions. Voyager can measure the thickness of interstellar gas by measuring how much the gas absorbs the sunlight in different directions. Scientists use the data to determine how fast the atoms are moving and where they are moving. As a result, they can calculate the mass of particles in space and learn about the masses of stars and other celestial bodies. Number 6. Heliosphere Another of the primary functions of Voyager 2 was to figure out what is beyond the heliosphere. The heliosphere is the area of charged particles that surround the Sun and its solar system. Voyager 2 was able to travel through a region called the heliosheath. The heliosphere is a bubble of charged particles that is 15 billion kilometers in diameter and ends at the heliopause when interstellar space begins. Voyager 2 has been traveling through this region for 12 years. Number 7. Time Capsule Voyager 2 has been sending valuable information back to NASA 20 billion miles away with its plasma detector, magnetometer, infrared spectrometer, and other equipment. Voyager 2 is also a time capsule of the items sent into space on this mission. It sends photographs of Earth back home to our planet that might not have been seen for thousands of years. The images represent our planet as seen in 1977 when Voyager 2 was launched. Number 8. Future of Voyager 2 Currently, the Voyager 2 spacecraft is the furthest human-made object from Earth. However, it is still functional and takes images back to our home planet. Scientists will be eager to know what new ideas they can send back. As long as it can gather information about space and send the data back, we should continue to see amazing images from this spacecraft for many years into the future. Number 9. Fascinating Images of Uranus Over 3,600 images of the planet Uranus were taken by Voyager just before its closest approach to the gas giant. The Voyager 2 spacecraft gave an even better look at the atmospheric phenomena of this planet. The spacecraft traveled 15 degrees north of the Earth, passing over its surface and captured a few images. The spacecraft had to make the most time of its 12-year mission because it's not designed to look at Uranus during specific times of its orbit around the Sun. Voyager 2 only goes through this path once every six years because its orbit is tilted 23 degrees around Uranus. Atmosphere The pictures show cloud features on Uranus, including what scientists believe is a storm that is over 1,000 miles wide. These images were taken when the spacecraft was over 6 degrees of latitude north of Uranus. The spacecraft had to travel further to get these images because it was not designed to focus on Uranus's weather patterns. Ring Encircling the Planet Voyager 2's most famous image is the colored picture that shows Uranus' two new rings, which Voyager discovered in 1986. 
The rings appear to be made of dark-colored microscopic dust particles and a larger bright-colored ring around the planet. Scientists believe the particles in Uranus rings came by the nearby moon Miranda because they are similar to materials found on this moon. They also think the particles may have been knocked off into space by micrometeoroid impacts over millions of years and then captured into orbits around Uranus's equator. Moons on Uranus the images also show the moons that orbit Uranus, such as Miranda and Ariel. Miranda is a faint dot at the bottom of one photograph with four bright dots. Ariel is a small moon that does not have any features in Voyager 2's image. And Oberon is similar to Titania in appearance and distance from the planet. A total of 27 known moons orbit Uranus, and Voyager 2 gave us some of their first pictures. Sunlight on Uranus Voyager 2 looks at the planet when it is low in the sky, as seen from Earth, which gives us a different look at how sunlight reflects off the world. The spacecraft sees sunlight reflecting off the cloud tops angled at 6 degrees, and other features might be below them. Voyager 2 captured the planet's southern hemisphere in this image. Number 10. Intriguing Images of Saturn Saturn is one of the most recognized planets because of its orange ring. Voyager 2 could take images of the planet with a different look than any other Earth spacecraft. The spacecraft captured the planet's north pole at the beginning of the pictures, which looks like an odd oval-shaped spot in some photographs, while giving us this color image of Saturn. This picture reveals that Saturn is not red like Jupiter, but more subdued orange and brownish tones. Atmosphere Saturn has many large storms, like the Great White Spot that usually take up its north and south poles. The planet has a hexagonal cloud pattern rotating around the planet's north pole. These storms are believed to originate in Saturn's atmosphere at depths of up to 100 kilometers below the visible cloud tops. It was discovered when Voyager 2 could detect radio waves emitted by lightning deep within these clouds. The Great White Spot was present for four years before fading away in 1990. Moons on Saturn Voyager 2 captured images of the moon on Saturn, including Enceladus, Tethys, Phoebe, and Helene. The most exciting shot of these moons is the one that shows Phoebe in the picture's foreground with Tethys and Enceladus in the background. Some of these images show the moons as two little white blobs. Enceladus is a moon that orbits close to Saturn and has a moonlit orbiting around it called Dactyl. Sunlight on Saturn The images of Saturn show how much light comes from above and below the planet. The top is bright orange, while the bottom can be seen extending over to yellowish brown. The images vary in how brilliant they are because they are taken at two different times and different angles. Number 11. Other bodies traveled by Voyager 2. The journey of the Voyager 2 spacecraft did not stop at Saturn, and it had to continue on its path and collect information about other bodies in space. Along the way, other planets were seen and photographed. Here is a sample of some of the most compelling images that Voyager 2 took that are of interest to scientists. Earth's Moon the Earth-Moon system takes up almost one quarter of Voyager 2's frame. It has been observed and studied millions of times since the Voyager 1 probe in 1979 became the first spacecraft to fly past this system. The Earth-Moon system is captured in this image, as the Moon's surface can be seen in almost all the photos taken by Voyager 2. Mars the Orbiter spacecraft has captured many images of the Red Planet. The spacecraft sent back more than 3,000 photos of Mars since 1979. This image shows Mars' polar cap and mountains, but also reveals a bright glare surrounding the planet caused by sunlight reflected off the clouds above them. Earth Images Voyager 2 was able to capture a couple of images of Earth. The first series of Earth photos were taken in 1986, which does not overlap with any of the Voyager 1 shots, as it is at a different angle. This image was taken from a distance that took up almost one-tenth of a frame and was able to get our planet from its crescent phase. This image shows Australia and Indonesia in a section covering South Africa, Indian, and Central Asia. Another photograph by Voyager 2 shows the Earth in its unlit phase when it was not lit by the Sun. 
unknown space objects. Voyager 1 took pictures of an unknown object called URF-1, but no photos from Voyager 2 show anything similar. This object was captured when Voyager 2 was taking images of Centaurus. These objects are in a comet orbit and have come from the outer solar system. Asteroid 1010 Eugenia is part of an asteroid belt between the orbits of Mars and Jupiter. This image was taken when Voyager was 3 billion miles away from Earth and traveled 1 billion miles closer to get this image. Number 12. The Future of Space Exploration Voyager 2 is still sending back images of space. Some have been important information for scientists and others. There are still many questions about the universe that are being resolved by Voyager 2's images. As more space probes explore the solar system, we will know more about our place in the universe and how intelligently it works. We will also learn how to better protect other civilizations from Earth from an invading alien force in space. Harnessing energy and minerals from space will also be helpful to the people of Earth, who will soon run outstanding shortfalls in energy and minerals. Exploring areas will help humans understand the universe, its place, and how we live. When Voyager 1 was launched in 1977, it was the most revolutionary mission in space exploration. It took the first pictures of Jupiter and Saturn from the outer solar system. It also showed that despite being a gas, gas planets could have moons orbiting them. The future of space exploration will include many other spaceships, both for exploration and construction. Today's space exploration is exciting. Don't forget to follow and like for more galactic news. Leave a comment on your take too.